All right, our second example for a chi-squared test for independence, we're going to write down the important ideas here, starting with the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is there is not an association between uh, your two variables. And then the alternative hypothesis is that there is an association between your two variables. The two conditions we're going to check are for randomness. So we need to either have a random sampling or be told that it was a random sampling. Uh, in your project, you need to figure out a way to randomize how you're collecting your data. And then second are large counts. So, and that's all of our expected values. So all expected values are greater than or equal to five. Degrees of freedom is going to be the rows minus one times the columns minus one. Not really too terribly important here because we probably should generally have a two by two. Uh, I know at least one of you should have like a five by two, but that's okay. It doesn't even ask us for it in our calculator steps. Uh, speaking of our calculator steps over here, Uh, we want to first input our matrix. So to get to matrix A, we're going to hit second, x to the negative 1, and over to edit. So what that will look like is second, x to the negative 1 is like the fourth button there, over to edit, and then we want to hit enter on matrix A. Apologize for my dog barking in the background there. And then to actually run the test, to get that chi-squared test, we're going to hit stat over two tests. And then I believe it is C. So let's do that. Stat over to tests. And then I recommend going up to C for chi-squared test. Let's put all this together and determine if there's an association be, to being able to do the taco tongue emoji and the evil eyebrow emoji. Below is a random sample for 600 students. We see that 180 can do both, 100 can do neither, 20 can do the taco tongue and not the evil eyebrow, and 30 can do the, well, 300 can do the taco tongue and not the evil eyebrow, and 20 can do the evil eyebrow but not the taco tongue, rather. Remember, the expected is going to be from the test. So we'll run the test and then come back and make sure that our data is good. If we're starting with a sample of 600, then odds are pretty good that all of these values would be good, bigger than 5 for our large counts. So our, our significance level here, there it is. Alpha is 0.05. Our hypotheses, again, they're a null hypothesis. There's not an association between those two. Alternative, there is an association between those two. So give me a second to write those down. Due to the magic of pausing, I was able to write all those down pretty quickly. Our procedure, chi-squared test for independence. We need to check and make sure that it is random. And I believe we do have a random sample. And then for our large counts, we need to make sure that all expected values are greater than or equal to 5. And we'll check that once we run the test and make sure that that is correct. Matrix A is going to be these four values in the observed 
uh, table there. So 180, 300, 20, 100 degrees of freedom here. That's going to be our rows minus 1. So there's two rows minus 1 times two columns minus 1. That's 1 times 1, which is 1. Calculator steps. We want to now go to stat to the right to test. And C is our chi-squared test. So we're going to go type that matrix in to matrix A. So I'll go to second, the matrix menu there, second x to the negative 1, 2 by 2, 180, 300, 20, 100. Got that in there. So now I'm just going to go to my test, stat, over to test, up to chi-squared. Observed, expected, that's good. We want to hit calculate. And we are told that our chi-squared statistic is 18.75. And our p-value is 1.49e, or that's times 10 to the negative 5. So that means we take this and move it over five decimal places. So that's 0.0000149. That's a very unlikely occurrence that these are not associated. So we can conclude and say that because that value is so much smaller than that it's so much smaller than the significance level of 0.05 The p-value is 0.0000149 is so much smaller than the 5% or 0.05 significance level that we have convincing evidence against the null hypothesis. So we reject the null and conclude that there is an association between the two emojis Good luck on your project. Come to tutorials one to two. That's when I made this video.